Gang, the huge matches keep coming here on the channel at the moment. Today, we take on Lask from Austria. And if we beat these guys, well, well, I think we've pretty much got our place in the next round of the European Cup sorted. Let's go do the business. G'day there, gang. Welcome back to Champ the Champ. I'm Wales, but most people call me Wally. Today, we take on Lask in the European Cup 2 or the European Conference League, whatever. It's really cold. I really don't care. It's European competition. I'm having a lot of fun. If we beat these guys today, like I said in the intro, I'm pretty sure that we've got our group assorted. Let's just quickly go have a look at the group standings here. So you see uh, Bayer out front with three points ahead of us. Uh, we're even with Lask here on six. So if we beat them... And then things go as I think they will. And we can beat Rota and Bayer beat Lask again on the return leg. We are pretty much sorted. Anyway, if we put a few goals past these boys, we've got them on goal difference, regardless of what happens. So I think we are pretty much sorted, providing we play well today. Normal league-wise, well, hang on, let's just, just quickly have a look at the Belgian Pro League A here. We are in ninth position. We've finally killed our inability to win like that streak of draws that we've had and uh, we won our last game we've got ourselves up to ninth on the ladder thank the football manager gods for that because i was starting to get worried i thought i was starting to look like that i might get the sack and that is not something i wanted to do so we're going to quickly have a look at the schedule here when did we last come to you it was the bayer match wasn't it so we yeah it's only been two matches since we last come to you so we only drew against new guys franks borens uh, but then we changed our tactic and we were pretty convincing against a Zogda Vargem. To be fair, we could have won that one 4 or 5 nil if the crossbar hadn't intervened or the very accurate referee hadn't intervened on a couple of them. To be fair, uh, Denki was so far offside and one of those, he was actually in Japan for real. So, yeah, yeah, no, I can't argue with that really, can I? But nevertheless, we will get into this match today against... Um, Linzer Athletic Sport Club, or or actually the the YouTube, the YouTube, the Wikipedia description says they're just known as Lask. So we go in. Uh, I'm sorry, I've skipped past one screen too far. So uh, Ricardo Tosi is in the goals. Uh, the back four, it's actually the same lineup as we put in the last game. The back four is Merchan, uh, Verbrugge, the young kid who is probably now going to be my number one starter at the back there. Raf Smackens steps back into the defensive line there and is doing quite well. And Vletnik, Vletnik, him on, on the right flank. Center of the midfield, we have Romero and Canute. Uh, Berla Marqui playing in front of them as the attacking midfielder. The wings are Mohamed and De Kock as ever. And Mr. Lightning Danky up front himself. So let's go out there. And we're going to tell the lads to pick up where they left off last time because that's just sensible. We're going to outstretch the arms and do it though. Uh, Mats Verbergi is a bit nervous. Nervous? A bit nervous. Uh, we, he, sh he should be nervous. Yeah, I mean, he's an 18-year-old kid um, playing on the big stage in Europe here, uh, unceremoniously ripped out of the um, under-21 squad and thrown in here to come and take on the might of European competition. And away we go here. We have the kickoff. So we have changed. Um, I'll show you here. Um, where's our formation? So we have changed to play a, a 4 2 3 1, and we're, we're, we're cheesing it properly. We're playing a 4 2 3 1 Gagan press. Um, I needed to do something to break the poor runner form, so I thought, right, back to basics. Everyone knows the 4 2 3 1 Gagan press works, providing you manage your fatigue. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Oh, that's a lovely ball in, and Hitchin Muhammad's good on the end of it. Merchan with a fantastic cross there. My God in Himmel, that is fantastic stuff. And we're off to an early lead here against Lask. Uh, the Bruger involved here. Merchan gets down. Nice little turn of pace there. Beautiful cross considering he's mega crossing skill. And Mohamed makes no mistake. That is a really, really good header from where he was. And leaves the keeper flat-footed. And we are 1-0 up here at home against Lask. Like, we beat these guys away. We really should be beating them here. They get the boot in there. But Smeckens will do well. And he will clean that one up. He's not in any hurry here, Smackens. Right, slows it down. Vlantic finds Mohammed. Mohammed finds Berla Marqui. Berla Marqui looking for Denki, but he's probably needed to take a couple more touches there. He was a little bit rushed. A little bit rushed. Look, in other news, uh, 
Romero's just about, oh, better mark me's in. Oh, I need to keep talking about other news. Every time I go to talk about something else, the boys score. Decock to Berla Marqui. Beautiful stuff. The Peruvian international, again, proves why I put him in the side. Oh, my God, Wally, that was terrible. But he's in there, Berla Marqui. And, well, 2-0 up, 20 minutes. Looking good, looking good. So let's just say that the tactical changes working well. Right, Mohamed now. Letnik puts the ball in, finds the cock. Well, the cock a little bit flaccid there, but good, good, good. We'll, we'll, we'll give the um, the last keeper the the credit for that one. All right, now we're caught in the break here. This is this is, has been a problem, and will be a problem with this setup. We are playing a very high line of engagement and a high defensive line, so we are really looking to win the ball back in their half. And um. We're going to be a little bit prone to those over-the-top balls. But that's another reason why playing the young kid there. He's much quicker than Popovich. And to be fair, Popovich forms... He, he, he's he's really struggling to get on the bench, Popovich, considering he's my second best defender on paper. 30-year-old experienced guy with fantastic mentals. He has just not turned up for me at all. Like oh, Denki on the ball here. Sprays it wide to Decock. Decock back into Denki. Oh, he can't quite make the finish you can't quite connect with the finish there. there there's legs in the way and when there's legs in the way it's always difficult for a solo forward right here we go again Merchan now the speed Merchan down the side here it's a nice little turn there for Merchan to cock in and this time oh Romero off the bar the crossbar we pepper the crossbar I thought the Sarang boys peppered the crossbar these guys pepper it more see what I mean about the fatigue here um, you play this gag and press and these things happen. So we are going to make some substitutions here at halftime, I think. I do need to think about our league performance as well. Um, especially if we are going to qualify for the next round of the, 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 crap, the cup. We really need to take a bit of care of some of our star players and give them the rest that they need, right? So Decock can come off. So we're going to swap him for Muhammad off the bat, I think. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to go straight on. We're going to bring Jerry Peters on. And he, look, I know he's not the best player, Jerry Peters, but you know what? Let, let, let's give him a go. He's quick enough to cause problems. And who else was done? Let's bring Denki off for support a lot and give support a lot a chance. Bit of a form drop off for support a lot lately. He was scoring for fun earlier, as you all saw. And we'll leave things like that for now. I think most of the back four in the midfield, pretty well rested. Uh, I gave Berla Marqui Romero like a week's holiday. Then they went on international break. So then I gave him another couple of days off after that. So it's going to be like that. And um, lots of rest days in the training schedule, as much as the players don't like it. Um, they need it because they are going to get very fatigued playing this system. Right. Another highlight for us, Merchan. And Canute play a little one-two there. All, all the way back to, the, to Tosi. Now, that's kind of not what I want to see. The other thing I like about having Verbugi and Smekins at the back here is they're both good with the ball at their feet. They've both got 10-plus passing. Supports a lot. Finds the seam, but can't quite beat his player there. But gets in the right spot, supports a lot. Doesn't always rate well, but he always seems to be in the right spot. Right, Romero and I finds Vletnik. Oh, Vletnik with a lovely ball. This time, Support lot will get that. That's a lovely finish from Support lot My giddy aunt, we're playing well today. Look what a change in formation does for us, guys. Um, who I said, you know, don't put a, a square peg in a round hole. And perhaps I've been trying to thrust that square peg into the round hole for the first 10 games in charge here at this club. And I, I've gone with the, the tried and tested and super cheesy... 4-2-3-1, Gagan press, and, well, look at what's happening here, guys. Look at what's happening. Rightio, um, Hitchin Muhammad is done. So I know what's happening there. Um, something I've been meaning to play with for a while. Let's push uh, uh, Vil Vletnik. Oh, I wish I could get my mouth. It, 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 it's simple. Uh, just get your mouth around it while you do some practice. And um, on comes Dickie Diamond, wing back. Right, get out there. Uh, we're going to pump the fist. Trust you, mate. Difference make me proud. Right, that's motivated the boy. That's motivated him. Rightio, let's run out this last half an hour here. 
So we win this. I've I envision that our next match that we bring you will be the 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 much weighted and dreaded at the same time, um, Sarang grudge match. Uh, Sarang currently bottom of the ladder since I've left them. The poor boys. Uh, I think we saw it going that way when I was there in charge for the first few matches anyway. Um, I think everyone there's love affair with being in this division has run out. And they're finally starting to find the going hard. And with an AI manager, I can't I can't see them staying up. Uh, unless Tom the Cock goes there. The guy seems to be able to work miracles. That's a lovely long ball. But Supports a lot. Did he chase it? No. A little bit of hesitation there from Supports a lot. Might have had a chance there. Oh, they've got a Horner. I didn't know they had Christian Horner playing for him. I, I knew Red Bull was an Austrian team, but didn't know Christian Horner was in their midfield. The boogie puts it back to Tosi. And uh, look, what I like most about this is we have looked pretty bloody solid at the back. All right, Dickie Diamond brings the ball out of defence, as he likes to do. Of Letnik. That's a poor ball for Porcelot. And I've said good things about the defence now. You watch them concede here. The Gak the Gak Aram. And he he's in. Oh, he's missed. That's lucky. That is the luckiest of lucky misses I have seen for us in a while. I would really like to keep a second clean sheet in the row here. The defence could really do with it. Right, are we going to get a hold of that? No. Imbroglio finds Alfas. Alfas in the gap. Oh, and this time we are saved by the crossbar. Well, good to see the crossbar hasn't shown any favouritism this match. And that is it. That is it. Well, I pretty much think that's us qualified. I mean, look how good this kid is. Look how good this kid is. I mean, 17. Already got a five o'clock shadow. Love your work, mate. Good heading. Good marking. Good tackling. Can pass the ball as well. Good technique. Great mentals. Good bravery. And a fair amount of physicals and 191 centimeters. Why haven't I been playing him all season? You watch that value um crank up let me know in the comments what do you think he's going to be worth by the end of the season if he develops and i keep playing him in the first team and he does well 17 years old just an absolute star speaking of stars let's, let's go to the dressing room and look at it um let's just outstretch the arms where is he uh bert de Kock. legit wonder kid legit wonder kid first one of the save we've got it Let, let's see if we can fix this let's see if we can get on his favorite personnel list alongside Tom the cock there that would be very nice thank you very much game that would be very nice indeed so look how much this European competition's worth that's oh. imagine if I qualify for Europe Sarang and I got them that sort of money that that would have saved all their issues um done well there right when we're going to come back to you like I said I think it's a Sarang match let's head to the schedule here and just check out what it is yeah I think it's a Sarang match we'll come back to you um I'm pretty sure we're qualified, but we will check. We will check. I mean, probably mathematically not so, but in reality, I think we have qualified for the next round. So we will see you in a couple of games time for Sarang. I right, just confirmation here, guys, that we have qualified to do the next round. Good stuff. We can put out some kids against Rota and um, save our precious legs for the league. Well, finally, we've been able to show some dominance against the side there. Fantastic stuff there. Pretty sure we're through to the next round in Europe on the back of that result. Smash that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. My name's Waylon. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.